Hey, it's David with Solar Edge Pros, and we've seen a lot more interest in backup batteries in 2023 from both manufacturers and homeowners. Battery backups have more potential than Wimby has at putting the Spurs back on top, and they're more likely to outlast Taylor Swift's new relationship. And yet, very little is known about home batteries. In this video, we hope to clear up any confusion about what they can, and more importantly, cannot do. But first, if you have not already done so, please hit subscribe and like this video so you can learn more about energy storage and solar power in the Texas area. All right, let's dive right in. What are battery backups? Battery backups mean uninterrupted power supply for your home or commercial property. They can automatically turn on when there's a loss of power from the grid, making the blinking clock on the microwave or computer reboots a thing of the past. For most Texas residents, this only saves the occasional annoyance of resetting the time on the clocks and possibly re-entering passwords on your computer. However, for those that experience blackouts more frequently, power backups could prevent the headaches of searching for a new home. Like any new technology, the drawbacks are rarely discussed openly. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. No return on investment. They may save hours upon hours of work done on the computer. They may provide peace of mind in the likelihood of a power outage. Heck, they may even save your life. But battery backups will never directly provide a return on investment. If you're looking to spend less money long term, you'll need to look into solar panels as your energy source. It's batteries, not battery. True whole home energy backup will require at least two batteries, but in some cases up to eight. The amount of energy storage depends on home size, HVAC, and pool pump included. How long you need an uninterrupted backup power supply. Other power sources available to recharge batteries, i.e. solar. A one-story, three-bedroom home will likely get about an hour of normal operation from two in-phase 10Ts. However, if the homeowner doesn't care for powering the whole home and only wants to make sure the milk in the fridge doesn't spoil, well then they can keep that refrigerator humming along for hours, possibly days. Power outages with batteries. Okay, if you're still with me, then you're ready to learn about how the batteries power a home. They can only give out so much electricity at one time. Allow me to explain with an example. Let's say you have 85% energy left and have only been powering a few outlets and ceiling fans, but then decide to start your AC, pool pump, microwave, and refrigerator all at the same time. First off, no judgment. What you do in the privacy of your own home is up to you. And secondly, you're going to trip your battery. Although you have the energy to power everything, the surge in demand all at the same time will trip your circuit breakers, and you'll need to restart everything one by one. Here's another example. Let's say you're running on backup power with plenty of juice. You've got your AC on, your refrigerator's keeping that milk fresh, and you're powering a few rooms. Then all of a sudden, you get an outage. What happened? A circuit breaker tripped. This typically happens when a circuit breaker tries to draw more power than it's designed to carry, so it overheats and shuts down as a safety precaution. What caused the greater demand if nothing had been turned on? Probably the refrigerator. Throughout most of the day, your refrigerator requires little electricity to run because it only needs to cool its contents every few hours. The well-insulated storage compartments of a refrigerator make it efficient at preserving the temperature and does not require 24-7 cooling. When the fridge does kick back on, it will cause a large surge in the power consumption. Then, after five minutes or so, it'll go back to barely needing any electricity. This process of energy use can make an outage seem completely random. Technical details. Batteries are incredibly intuitive and easy to use once installed. It's getting them installed that's complex and often requires a tailor fitting to your home's electrical configuration. For example, if your home's main circuit breaker panel has no empty slots, a sub panel will be needed. Additionally, some batteries can be mixed with other versions, brands, solar inverters, and backup generators, while others do not mix well with anything else. It just depends. By meeting with an energy expert, you can get those questions answered and find out the specifics on battery backup things to know for your home. Plan ahead and know it'll take months from the point of purchase to the point of them up and running on your exterior wall. 
There are people working behind the scenes during that time, getting appropriate permits and approved inspections to ensure your energy storage is safe and operating up to code. While on the subject, not all installation companies are the same. Be sure to go with an installer with plenty of experience working with your utility company and your area, or else you could be waiting an even longer time. The Tim Duncan and Tony Parker of Energy. To all my basketball fans out there, you know what I'm talking about. If you're going to get batteries, then you'll want solar panels too. Panels can help charge the batteries while the grid is down. Without a photovoltaic system, your batteries will eventually die and stay dead, at least until the grid comes back online. Most backup systems are intended to be paired with solar panels, making it a simple process for the installers and the homeowner. In our experience, customers prefer getting power storage devices from the same company that manufactures their inverters. One equipment brand means all energy information stays in the same mobile app. However, in some cases, they don't need to be from the same manufacturer. If you want to go all in on the big three, then we recommend getting the Manu as well, a standby generator. More on that information in another video. Best battery backup? Nowadays, it seems every company makes battery backups, but are they all the same? Not even close. Each brand comes with its own quirks and limits. Having done some trial and error with different batteries, Solar Edge Pros mainly installs in phase batteries. The company has been around almost as long as us, so we trust they'll continue to be in operation for decades to come. Like Solar Edge Pros, they've come to appreciate the value of providing excellent customer service. If an issue arises, we and the homeowner are able to resolve them quickly, thanks to Enphase's knowledgeable and respectful staff. Enphase batteries should have a connection to the grid. For off-grid cabins out in the middle of nowhere, we prefer to use Solark. We'll talk more about Solark and off-the-grid living in another video. Are batteries worth it? Now that we've cleared up some of the limitations around battery backups, it's time to consider if they're a worthy purchase. While only you can make that decision for yourself, it may help to review the benefits of battery backups. You'll never experience a blackout, assuming you use them correctly. There's peace of mind that security devices will still receive power during an outage. And lastly, ease of use. As energy rates rise and more people continue to move to Texas and utilize our aging electric grid, getting backup batteries can help prevent the future influx of blackouts. When you're ready to learn more specifics to your energy needs, book an appointment with us and select battery backups as a topic of interest when setting an appointment. You can do so by visiting us online at solaredgepros.com or giving us a call at 210-401-9030. I'm David and thanks for watching.